in 2008 when ISI moved from San Francisco to Berkeley. You know, we moved into a lab that uh, is over 10,000 square feet with another floor above us. It's 10,000 square feet where all of our engineering staff and project management staff are located. ISI over the last four years has grown dramatically. Since then, we've added a geotechnical lab with all state-of-the-art electronics and equipment. My name is Patricia Slavin Hodgkins. I'm the geotechnical laboratory manager at Inspection Services in Berkeley. Um, I was brought on board about five years ago to create the geotechnical laboratory. The geotechnical engineers go on site and drill the soil so that they know what type of foundation to design. They send the samples to me and I run the tests that they assign and then from the information I give them they design the foundation for the building. And what I love about working in the Bay Area is that with the seismic activity around here you never know what kind of soil is going to come out of that tube. Having a geotechnical lab helps us be more full service for our clients so we can help them from the beginning of the project all the way to the completion of the project. To me, the things that stand out and make ISI different is, you know, our, our laboratory is a bit more state-of-the-art. We're use, using current technology. Most of our equipment is computer-operated, um, data acquisitions, pneumatically controlled equipment, and that's pretty much state-of-the-art in today's testing lab world. One of the things I insisted on when I came here was that we would be able to do high pressure testing for the TXCU test because it's required a lot in the Bay Area and very few labs have that capability. This is the triaxial consolidated undrained test with pore pressure measurements. It's used in dams and levee construction. My name is Lorenzo Lawson. Um, I work here at Inspection Services Incorporated. I am the laboratory supervisor and I love working in the laboratory. We specialize um, in concrete, asphalt, and specialty testing. The R value testing is usually required by an engineer uh, wanting to know exactly what the resistance of the soil is. And normally it is placed before the asphalt is placed on top of the actual material. The second part of the R value testing is the stabilometer. This is where you put a vertical and horizontal load on the soil sample to actually get your final reading and this really will determine what your R value is. We've also added a metals laboratory and that's where we test our high strength bolts. We'll take a high strength bolt to the ultimate load I'm using a 10 degree wedge until failure. We also do hardness testing on metallic items as well. You get to test many materials, you know, that a lot of people are not too familiar with. One of the tests that we do that um, many laboratories don't perform are the Marshall testing. Once you complete the compaction of the Marshall testing, there's a test called the flow and stability testing. This right here determines the strength, the stability of the sample, and also the flow of the actual sample. My name is Gabriel Hernandez. I work with ISI as the laboratory manager slash project manager. This is the tensile testing for the fiber wrap material that's used in uh, seismic retrofitting and strengthening of existing structures. It uses a laser extensometer. It measures the change in length from two points on the sample. Everybody being in one building, you know, if you get a call from a client and they have a question about a test result or something like that and they're talking to a project manager, they can literally just put them on hold, walk downstairs in the lab, and be looking at the test sample while they're talking to them. I have a great relationship with our engineers. Everybody's working together to solve a common problem that affects all of us. I love talking to the clients, talking to the geotechnical engineers, and questioning why they're running a test because when I question them, I learn something new. Our mission statement for the lab is one test is worth a thousand opinions. 